Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a recap of the new episode of, Oar of Oar no Surf, Nagoya Kiss and Hen, or you could call it Surf of the End, Bow and Nagoya, which is on episode 9. This episode had didn't have much complications going around, so if anything else like it, let's just get started, okay? Um, okay, at the beginning of the episode, we have to it that um, one of our buddies, you, is pretty much talking to Ashima Asurumaru or Ashura, if anything, Ashuramaru. For having more power, but apparently, like, um, Ashiomaru tells him that he's already dead, which could be a lie, possibly, I don't know, maybe I'm just overthinking it. And we get to find out that, um, Yu is only being kept alive because of these angels, you know? And Yu was about to take that power, but he decides to take the power of Ashiromaru, which Yu wakes up and decides to go back, go back and help, help out Gurin, which is, um, Something that you would always want to do anyway. I mean, he's... We all know him. Any, we all, If you guys read the manga or even watch, up to the, watch the anime up to this point, you all will know him. So, he decides to go back to Gurren while Gurren is being interrogated in a rough manner, if anything. We all know how interrogation can work in many different ways. But apparently, after you shows up and tries to fight, he gets overpowered by Crowley. But what makes it worse right now, even with the strength he has now, it's not enough. And later on, Gurin, tell, Gurin, on the other hand, tells you, don't be an idiot and get going. The desire will freaking take over you and so forth. And you, on the other hand, does not want to give up because he cares for Gurin. And he says, you told me to live, so that's what I'm planning to do, dang it. And later on, he transforms into a demon. Kimizuki uses his weapon and captures you right in the coffin, you know. And so forth. Well, you did turn into somewhat of a demon. Well, I think he is a demon. After all, he went all crazy, mo crazy crackalack berserk mode, you know. And after that, they managed to escape, and they they managed to escape. But well, what makes it worse for the time being in the future? What makes it worse for the time being for later futures? Um, they are stuck in a situation where they may not be able to like um get out. Because like um we have to it that the group the group ends up managing to like um go their look go to their location. But what makes it worse for them for the time being is that um Mika's in the way and he's trying to take care of the humans. But he when he sees Yuchan, he he thinks back in the ba he thinks back of what he said to you you Yuchan and therefore he tries to get him, get to him. But he takes a lot of damage afterwards. But that did not stop him. However. He keeps on going and does not attempt to quit. And therefore, he man he managed to reach to Yu Yu Chan in a certain sense, but ends up being stopped and trying to talk to sen some sense out of him. And he gets stabbed by he gets stabbed by Hiragi Shinya, and therefore, like um, before he could pull the trigger and kill Mika. Um, Shinua defends him and tries to talk things out, but apparently they won't listen and they end up fighting their own allies, you know, so the one in this episode is called Traitorous Allies. As for the other reinforcements, that is like a what? What's her name? One of the vam one of the vampire lords or something? Cool is arriving to Crowley's base and events were starting to look really, really bad, you know, good and Shinwa made an opening for Mika to escape with you. She says, we'll meet you at the airport. And Mika's like, why the hell would I trust you, etc., you know? Pretty much Mika is still doubting the human sense, la 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 la. We, we don't know what the, key, what the key issue is, but yeah. But eventually we have to it that Mika gets ready. Mika is prepared to like him get going, you know, etc. So if anything else, um... We have to it that it ends off with the cliffhanger where um the vampire hunter team is a uh, just got over overpowered by reinforcements and possibly got captured. They might be killed, obviously. Well, I think two of them gotten killed. I think Yayoi and then Ki Kim Kimazuki, I believe. I think that's his name. Um, is it? I don't think so. No. Um. No. 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 Um, all I know is like um he's on he was on he was on Kurum I think he was on the squad of he was on he was on a different squad that's for sure but all I know is like um two of them got injured Yayoi Yayoi and some other dude but Kagi Kagiyama I believe yeah Kagiyama is the name 
Hopefully, if hopefully they survived. If they died, oh well. Looks like hell's been he set loose. Of course, it ends up with the cliffhanger with um, Yu Chan and Mika like um walking in the distance. Well, Mika carrying Yu Chan. Next episode, it looks like we are. It looks like we we may have a clue what's gonna happen next. I mean, it's previewed it. So if anything else, I'm just gonna leave it at that, people. I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm off for zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye bye.